Citizens of the digital age, welcome, come, come. So what's going on guys, it's Corey from Dead Sick Airsoft and as you just probably can't see, I wasn't actually too prepared to do this video. I thought, you know, my onesie is, has cam on it, so it kind of does work, so it's not, not really, you know, airsoft from, but anyway, I decided that I'd do an update video of different content that's going to be coming onto the channel, uh, how things in the team are going to change and just stuff that I need to address and make sure that everyone understands. So I'm going to first start off with just addressing a few things he's maybe aware haven't really came up or should have came up. We had originally planned to do a loadout week leading up to the week of Blorgan. So we were planning to have, say, I, I do uh, my update multicam loadout. Um, uh, team member Matthew Kettle would do his one. Connor Shervin would do his one. But it just got too hard that the some of the members couldn't get a good enough format to try to do the video on. I have a, a GoPro Hero 5 session. So I have like the top of the nut, like the brand new kind of, the, the the newest GoPro of you, but you could say. And other people were trying to use Android phones and the these are aware Android doesn't have the best camera. So until we can all get together and just do all the load of videos all together on my GoPro, that's the only way we're gonna get those videos. So. That loadout week or loadout videos are going to be postponed until I can get everyone together and record it. I have also to do a, an updated video or kind of review of the GNG Predator, which I attempted to do before, but while I had done, I had actually done the Mark 18 video, the GNG Predator video, and I had done this video all at once, all in the same kind of video file. I cut and when, when I wanted to change video, I then get the gun get it already and then continue talking as it was streaming that whole video so it wasn't record stop record stop it was all just one file so that all corrupted down with a charger connected to my gopro always went so i was like here i'm not going to do this so i kind of wait postpone it for a while and with the way i've been doing videos now i've been able to get back and do them so yeah so i'm pretty happy that i can get back and get on track and stuff i want to do so yeah, as I have said, Predator video will be coming soon after me using it for 10 months and getting a good run of what it looks like. And I'll be doing, definitely doing the review again on the Mark A team. The reasonings I haven't been able to do this, as I've stated, I want to go into a little bit more detail now. I, from now of today, I am able to actually play Airsoft once a week. That schedule used to be every second week, so... In the at the time of me recording this, I just went last week. Before I wouldn't be playing this week, I'd be playing next week, but now I can play every Saturday or every Sunday, whatever day I feel I want to go. So the content of uh, gameplay videos won't have to be stretched out so much. You so I've probably seen with the footage, I have to take say one day as a footage, try to do a whole game that I played, say the bomb game, make that entirely up. And if that wasn't a good game, put two. Uh, games we played in Simplac together for one video and then do another video because I knew I wouldn't be going to wear us off to the next week but now I just probably seen from the last upload which was the gameplay I can't think of the name of the video that was the entire day of footage I've gotten over two hours of SD cards or so they say it says it records an hour but I'm pretty sure it records a lot more so all that footage you've seen was all the good footage I've gotten from one day so now when I go this weekend, I'll be able to get more footage, which then I will upload next week. So this gives me a lot more time to think about doing, as I said, the Mark 18 video, the Predator video, and this video. So more videos like this will be able to come out much more frequently. Alright, the main purpose of this video I can now talk about. Originally, or uh, probably I should say a little while ago, I had tried to start off my own junior team for Airsoft. It was originally planned, or still has the same mindset as I had before, that I started Airsoft in a small site called Ratbeg and Lakes. It's now shut down its Airsoft side of the actual facility, the, the area it takes that Ratbeg and Lakes is in. There's like, um, there's canoe, there's like rock climb stuff, it's almost like a little small adventure park. But they did do Airsoft and that's where I used to play before I found Simplac Airsoft. But there it was such a small kind of community of people and it was such a small site that me only starting off I was able to go out 
I was able to meet some great people who I still know today and surprising which I think is great. I started off admiring these people, I now play with these nearly on a weekend basis which is something I'm really proud of. So they, like the likes of, I probably won't name because I haven't asked if I'm allowed to name, but a said person used to work there. He would kind of show me the ropes, explain how to do this, how to, you know, shoulder your weapon properly and all. Stuff that no one was teaching me, but someone took an insight and an interest into me and the sport and knew that I was the future of the sport and needed to make sure that I was leading a good example when I would show people as I want to do now. But since Airsoft has grown so big with, to be honest, I feel it's grown so big from the likes of Navarich. I know about three years ago, the average of Airsoft players in the world was 700,000. That's obviously grown. And as you probably do know, Navarich has 2 million subscribers on YouTube. That's over half of his fan base doesn't even play Airsoft, supposedly. So it's such a big community now. So it's definitely much larger in this country. So, you know, you don't get that kind of mentoring kind of thing when you're going to a site and there's say 60, 70 people on average playing on a site and country I am saying, or level with people. That is why I set up DeadSec Airsoft Junior. This team that myself and other members of my team are starting to mentor is based on younger players aged 11 to 13. 11 being the, the minimum age to play Airsoft in this country to 13 to getting into that kind of adolescent age. DeadSec Airsoft Junior is focused on making the players of tomorrow from the younger age. It's very hard for us to try get people of 15 and 16 onto the team because at that stage they don't really need that kind of more, not superior I wouldn't say, but that kind of older person look down because you're pretty much in the kind of same mindset, you're still on the same level as them. I talked to a 16 year old, me being 17, I'd speak to a 14, 15 and 16 year old the same way I'd speak to a 19, 20, 21 year old because they're on that same kind of talkative level. They have that same kind of cop on to be able to have a conversation and then bring it back to you. But the likes of it, an 11 year old to 13 year old, they would, as myself, they would look up to older players and aspire to be them and want to be able to play like them. This is what DeadSec Airsoft Junior strives to complete. We strive to want to make the players of tomorrow as I've stated. This team is completely free as it should be. It's completely free to join. If you are interested and you have seen this video, please message me on my personal Facebook account, Corey O'Kelly or Matthew Kelly, who was also helping me get this up and running. It is not just the two of us, the entire team is underway. To be honest, I'm not even gonna take the credit for trying to revive DeadSec Airsoft Junior. I have to give it to Matthew Kettle who decided that this would be a good idea. I tried to get it going before and I kind of just threw it to the wayside because it wasn't working out. Matthew is trying to get this working again and I am 100% behind him and helping him doing this. So, tip the hat to him. Also guys, before I wrap this up, I want to just ask you a question on what I've spoken about. Since I've spoken about what I want to do with this channel, I need you guys to help me and give me some tips and stuff you want to see in the channel. If you was, can in the comments right now, just also just go down to the comments and try, if you just want to help me, give me a schedule you'd like to see videos coming out. So I could come up with every Monday, a uh, gameplay video comes out. Uh, Friday, there's a kind of video like this, like a review or kind of an informational video. So on a Friday, it could be how to use a radio correctly, how to fix a rucksack, like this style of bag onto your back for kind of recon games. Because you see a lot of people, I'm just gonna give a quick demonstration. You're gonna see a lot of people where they're going around and the straps are hanging off them and the bags everywhere. I could do a video of how you're supposed to set this up properly so it's comfortable and efficient for you. So that style of video I could do, if you wanna see that, just give me some recommendations in the comments. Okay guys, I'm just gonna wrap this video up and just wrap up what we spoke about today. As I've said, any recommendations you have for videos or stuff like that you wanna see on the channel, please drop them down to the comments and obviously recommend some stuff. From now on, I'm able to play Airsoft once a week instead of every second week. So as of the 5th of October, the day I've re I'm recording this right now, I played last Sunday. Before I would have recorded a video, as I said, try to get the best footage and make it into two or three videos. 
now I, I don't need to do that. I know I'm most likely going to have a gameplay video every week. So I can put the best footage I got over the entire day, put it into one video and upload it. So as I said, if you just want to see a schedule of Monday for gameplay videos, Wednesday for gameplay videos, whatever, please give me them. Update on the Predator video, the Predator video, the Mark 18 video, and any sort of informational videos, as I said, you recommend to me. Please give me your recommendations and I'll do them along with Mark 18 and the Predator video. I'm not too sure about the audience I do have for on this channel. I'm not too sure if I have people aged 11 to 13, but if you are in that age category, Please send me a message if you do have social media on Corey O'Kelly or Matthew Kell. The both of us on the team are trying to get this team off the ground again and trying to get it stable. So as I said, if you are interested, please message me. As I said, we strive to get this all kind of way of mentoring one-on-one -on -one with players. I should actually explain what we plan to do with Deadsec like Airsoft Jr. We would plan to go out on a day's game and we'd ask the, the said players who are on Deaths of Gearsoft June to go the same day as we go, and we literally would just play together, and we'd just show you, right, okay, this is what you do, you wanna pie a corner like this. And it's just that, that would all, it wouldn't be this kind of, you know, army kind of like train and all this, like, it's not gonna be anything over-exaggerative or anything like that, it's just gonna be, we'd explain what we do in a certain situation, like, going around a corner, what I do, and I explain this is how I do, and this is the best way to do it. So that's pretty much what we do. If you are interested in that kind of learning on a day's game, and please message me or Matthew Kettle. But that's all I can really talk about, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this update video. But anyways, talk to you later, guys. And that's like we'll give you the truth. Do what you will.